Hello, it's you, Bagoon. Welcome back to another episode of Age of Mythology Retold Triggers. Today we will be going into God Powers in a slightly more advanced setting, specifically the God Power Redefine effect, as promised. If this is your first time seeing a video like this, I'd recommend you go to video 7 of this playlist first to look at God Power basics from there. For the rest of us, let's proceed. So, one thing to mention before we start with God Power Redefine, you may remember if the player is invoking a God Power, you're going to get, be notified of this. So we've got the chat that says the player's used a God Power, and then we've got the timer on the other side of the screen showing how long a God Power has got left. It can be annoying, and you may wish to disable these. If you wish to disable these, there's two effects you need to know about. So if you search for notification you've got the toggle disable power notifications and we do want to disable that and then if we go to timer we can disable the god power timers so now if we playtest this scenario again and we use the ceasefire god power you will see that there is no timer and there is no notification that the god power has been invoked that can sometimes be quite handy for the purpose of this video, I'm going to turn them off, and now let's look at that beautiful God Power, the God Power Redefine effect. So, what we've got here is a player, a power, an icon, a name, and a rollover. So, what do you put in the icon? I'm going to briefly show you how you can get icon path images. One adjunct to this video I'd recommend you downloading is this PDF file I've made. I will link in the description. It's available at Asian Mythology Heaven as either the PDF or just the raw text format. This document contains all of the icons in Asian Mythology retold along with their paths. So if you find an icon you'd like, all you'd have to do is copy and paste the text underneath it into any valid icon parameter file. You can use Control F to search for any icon that you might desire to find it, or you could also just browse for cool images. If you're doing that, I'd recommend looking through ones that start with ability and the technologies as well. So we'll be using this a few times in our God Power, so this is where I'm getting the icon paths from. Okay, now that we've done this, let me guide you through what we're doing. So. I'm putting an icon path in, which I would like to replace the icon for a power in-game. Let's just choose Ceasefire for an example. So we could change the name to Cliffwalk, and we could give us the rollover, makes you fast and walk over cliffs. We then grant the god power, and if we just go into this scenario with this, you'll see how powerful this effect can really be for you. So, we've got a god power, but it's this one. We mouse over and we see it's Cliffwalk. Ah, oh, it makes you walk fast over cliffs. We invoke it, we've got Cliffwalk power, and we've got the updated icon. However, it's still got the ceasefire functionality. We haven't actually told the game what we want to do. To do this, we need a condition. We need to tell if that god power is active. And how you do this will depend on what you want, or it will depend on the type of god power as well. For ceasefire, what we can do is we can use the condition god power in effect for player one. So if this is true, let's say god power start, then we can have our effects here. So, what do we actually want to happen when Ceasefire has invoked, if we talk about triggers and we just speak through? We want to make our Son of Osiris move faster, as per the description that we gave, so we could increase the speed by 10. Remember, with relativity we've discussed, let's increase it absolutely. And we want the move data as well. So we want to set it for air for our son of Osiris. So that's going to happen. Great, we've got our god power working. What happens when it ends? So again, there's a few ways of doing this. So what I could do is we, we've got god power in effect. 
we haven't really got one for good power isn't in effect. So we know it lasts for 30 seconds. We could either set a timer and then do a fire event, or we could check the not button, so this will fire as soon as that god power is not in effect. Seeing as it's not in effect at the start of the game, I don't want that to be active immediately. I want to fire it from the start trigger. So we go to trigger activate, this is the default effect, and we go for god power end. So when our god power is fired, we get the effects, and we tell the trigger system to fire up and get ready for this. So as soon as this condition is then met, we can go back to land, we can modify our speed by minus 10 absolutely, and that will reset us to default. Let's have a look at this one in action. So we're moving about, speed 3.6, we use the god power, our speed is now 13.6, and we can walk off cliffs, we can walk through trees actually, because air just essentially means zero energy, and that you guys can do whatever they want. This is going to carry on until our stopping trigger is fired. And you'll see as soon as that god power ended, our speed went down to 3.6, default, and we can no longer walk over cliffs. Brilliant. We now have a fully functional custom god power. The issue with this that you might be able to see is this is a one use only god power. So if we want to make it a loop, we activate the start trigger again from the end trigger. That means whenever we do it again after it's finished, the whole cycle will start again. That's an example of one god power. We've got some other god powers that we can think of to use as well. So ceasefire is one where it's going to be a global target. It doesn't actually create anything. What if we have a god power that creates something, such as Midhog? Let's grant that one to ourselves, and then let's overwrite it. So let's have a think. What could we create with Nidhogg that might be quite awesome? So we could summon the laser bear. And this will just say summons the fearsome Canadian bear. And this is the cheat unit if you don't already know it. I'm going to minimize the game, get the code for the Canadian bear and paste that in here. So now let's have a look at this god power with again no effects to actually get what we want. So you can see we've got the bear, summons the laser bear, and then it's a default Nidhogg rather than our Canadian bear. In order to get this to what we want to get, again think about how we can detect if this god power has been active. We could use what's happened before, we could also use a unit count. So if player one has more than one Nidhogg, then that god power is likely to be in effect. What we want to happen is we want to change any unit in the area. So if we do area change type from Ayyib, we could usually do this from a cinematic block or a revealer, just because that unit is guaranteed to always be there. Let's set it to the Nidhogg. Let's set the radius ridiculously high so it covers the entire map. Yep, you can just see the purple ring on the outside of the map over here. And what do we want to change it to? We want to change it into the laser bear. We want this trigger looped and active, so whenever we have our unit created, then we're going to get it changed into the laser bear. I'm going to give myself a few more uses on that. What you could also add in to make it extra snazzy is you could add in some sounds here. Let's see it in action. So we've got a few laser bears. You'll see it's a Nidhogg initially. We've still got the Nidhogg sound, but we've created our laser bear. And if we invoke again, we're creating more laser bears with the god power and we're getting the timer coming up so all looks quite nice doesn't it so with god power redefine there is simply so much you can do with it the icon list is huge the triggers that i've shown here are rather basic but it again gets you thinking about it in our next video I'm going to show you how you can have unit-specific abilities that you make with triggers rather than god powers. It's one, one of the most requested videos. It's slightly advanced, but 
we're in the section now so it's time to give it a go. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you.